Hi, back in the kitchen with Susan and I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about uh, fermenting chili peppers and I'm going to show you some that are fermented. Uh, we just did this one with the fermenting system that has a little weight and a plastic top with a moat and this is the first system that I use. The whole idea of fermentation is that you want to uh, make an airlock so that gases can escape but you want to keep um, uh, anaerobic uh, environment in there for the good of bacteria to grow. And so the good thing about fermented foods is that they're wonderful for our digestive tract. It gives you a really healthy uh, gut flora. And it's all the rage right now, but uh, I've been doing this for a while. So this is called the perfect pickler system. And this is the airlock that has a little bit of water in. I'm going to take this out. And you can see the difference here in the two jars. These peppers are red and green, but they're bright green. And these peppers have sort of turned to an olive green. So when the peppers change from bright green to olive green, it means your fermentation is ready. And if it's really hot out, it can be done in four or five days. Five to seven days is the average. Okay, so I'm going to unscrew this lid to the perfect pickler. And there's a cup in here that helps with the airlock and it also keeps the peppers um, floating, uh, from floating. And so these are ready to go and at this point I could store this jar, I could just put a regular lid on it and store it in my refrigerator for up to one year. Um, if I were going to do that I would probably add some vinegar, uh, organic apple cider vinegar, which would give me a longer shelf life. However, I am not going to be, uh, eat, uh, these are going to be eaten quickly, so I'm not going to add any vinegar to this. But if I'm putting up a lot more peppers, I will add the apple cider vinegar. Alrighty, so you can use these just like you would any pepper, um, you know, that you would buy at the store. Um, the thing about this is that it hasn't been canned, it hasn't been processed, it hasn't been heated, so you've got all your vitamins and minerals and probiotics in here. I do end up canning some of these because I want to give them as gifts and I can't always have room in my refrigerator for all these. Now there's a, another uh, new one out, a new system, that's called Kraut Source because I do this, this is how I make sauerkraut with airlock tops too. And uh, I'm going to show you how to use that one in just a minute. I do want to talk to you about these kind of lids. Um, you can't really put a metal lid on things that are acidic like vinegar or things that are alcoholic. And so uh, they're making these really nice new canning lids that are BPA free that are really good if you're going to be uh, putting up a lot of things that have a lot of acid or alcohol and they can be processed in, in hot boiling water baths or in a pressure canner and they can be used over and over again. So this is a, a Tatler canning lid. It's a great lid.